welcome back to this time in gaming. So first up, I'm going to talk about Microsoft. The company decided to rename X its Xbox Live service as Xbox Network. So what is Xbox Live? Xbox Live allows users to access to online content with their Xbox. Uh, Xbox Live or Xbox Network comes free with the purchase of your console. Uh, Xbox Live allows users to purchase and download games from the Xbox Store. So a month ago what happened is that Microsoft decided to double the subscription price of their Live Gold membership. This membership was required if users wanted to play multiplayer games. So unlike PlayStation which allows users to play free to play titles like Fortnite and Apex Legends without requiring a premium subscription, Microsoft decided to lock the multiplayer aspect of free to play titles behind their Live Gold subscription. The backlash was swift, not only Microsoft doubled down on their Live Gold membership price hike but also decided to not lock multiplayer components of free to play games behind Live Gold subscription. It's a very good news for all of us gamers. Up next, Sony is rumored to shut its stores for PS3, PSP and PS Vita legacy consoles. It means that the games exclusive to these consoles will be inaccessible officially unless Sony makes an official emulator. It is rumored that the stores will be closed in a few months and the public will be told about this news at the end of this month that is March 31st. Gamers are furious, it appears that the next generation won't be able to enjoy old games unless Sony decides otherwise. Me personally, I have played few Pokemon games on emulators but never a PlayStation game. PSP and PS3 stores will be closing on July 2nd, 2021. The PS Vita store will be shutting down on August 27th. The PS Vita store will be shutting down on August 27th this year. Hope your old PlayStation consoles are still in working condition and you have enough storage for your games you bought for the consoles as getting a physical edition of old PS games won't be easy. Cyberpunk's patch 1.2 has a lot of fixes and changes in store for the gamers. The game was delayed three times and released in a broken state filled with glitches and bugs. The devs rushed the game on orders from the upper management and now have to spend significant amount of their time fixing the game rather than working on new DLCs and expansions. This patch includes a fix for Night City's police department's response time. Players in Cyberpunk 2077 cannot get away with a crime compared to any GTA game. As soon as the player knocks an NPC, the NCPD shows up almost instantly without having the animation of driving towards a crime scene. Patch 1.2 will include a police drone which will assess the situation before the police arrives. The devs have also increased the spawn distance of the NCPD officers. The patch also includes a fix for driving mechanic for this game. The patch will now include a steering sensitivity slider which will hopefully improve driving experience for the players. They also added a system allowing players to rock and shake their vehicles when stuck. You simply have to push down the accelerator button. For PC, the dodge on double tapping can be turned off in control settings, a welcoming change for PC players who wanted to approach certain missions by using only stealth. So that's it for today's This Time in Gaming, hopefully you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.